Good morning, everybody. So, it's the rainy season now in the Philippines, but the weather forecast said that today will be a good day, so I decided to make one quick church feature. And uh, for today, we're going to visit the province of Pampanga to the north of Metro Manila. And we'll visit Betis Church, which is known as the Sistine Chapel of the Philippines. So it's a really good church. It's a very beautiful church. And it's called the Sistine Chapel of the Philippines because of all the frescoes and, uh, and murals inside. Betis Church is actually called the St. James the Apostle Parish Church. And it's found in uh, the Betis District. That's why it's called Betis Church. And Betis District is found in Guagua which is a municipality in Pampanga. There are actually a lot of historic churches there. So probably in the near future, we'll uh, visit Pampanga again to check all the other churches out. Okay, we spotted some other riders on the road. And that's a try in Bonneville, right in front of me. And that's a Ducati Scrambler. And this one here is a GS. Interesting group. Interesting mix. So three brands in one uh, riding group. So as I said, it's a nice day today. That's what the weather forecast says. So yeah, we see lots of riders out here. And it's a weekend, so that's really cool. So you will notice we're running by the banks of the dike that was constructed after the, the eruption of Mount Pinatuba. This dike here uh, was intended to divert the flow of the, the mud flows or the lahar from Mount Pinatubo so that it won't further devastate the towns. Back in the 1990s, this used to be filled with lahar. But as you can see, it's now quite green and trees have grown here. Okay, I think I see the church now. There it is. Now, how do we get inside? There it is, there's a church. The Baptist Church was constructed way back in 1660, but at that time they used wood and light material. So it suffered a number of fires. And so in 1770, they decided to reconstruct the church using concrete. And to the side of this church, actually to the north side they say, is an artesian well which is built on the patio of Betis Church and they say that this is the first of its kind in the Philippines. This artesian well was uh, originally constructed sometime in the 1800s to supply water to the people of Betis town and neighboring towns. So this is this is the well. OK, 
Okay. Let's see if we can enter the church. Okay, here's the bell tower right here. I believe it's it has one large bell and four small bells. The design of the church reflects a combination of Spanish, Latin American, indigenous and oriental architecture during the Spanish colonial era. It was designed to withstand revolts and rebellions, and so it has the appearance of a fortress. It was also meant to withstand earthquakes that occur often in the region. And so, since it is also Baroque inspired, this unique architecture style became known as Earthquake Baroque. Betty's Church was declared a National Cultural Treasure by the National Museum and the National Commission for Culture and Arts on November 5, 2001. This is a Jubilee Church, so it is even more meaningful for Catholics as a place to visit. The religious frescoes in the ceiling the murals, and the intricate sculpture and paintings in gold dust are reminiscent of European art during the Renaissance period. Victor Ramos repainted almost 80% of the ceiling in the mural paintings in the interior of the church in the early 80s. centerpiece is known as the God of all races. The other paintings and murals depict the Holy Family, selected biblical scenes, Catholic saints, and angels. Okay, so we're now at the side of the church and I believe we're entering the, the museum and as you can see this is a really old structure right here stuck to the church we have here the statue of San Lorenzo Ruiz the first Filipino saint and Yes, we're here on the side. Okay. 
here's the history of the church. Okay everyone, so that was Betty's church. I hope you love the murals inside as much as I did. And now I can see why they call this church the Sistine Chapel of the Philippines. So thanks for joining me in this particular church feature. And uh, there are other historical churches here in Pampanga. There are lots of them. And so I can see us visiting the province of Pampanga more times in the future to feature the other historic churches here. So until then, let me just say bye for now. And I'll catch you all in my next videos. Bye!